What is good everybody, today we are back with some new WWE action figure news to a certain degree because we're going to be discussing every single figure that I expect to see at San Diego Comic Con 2024. So this is not my wish list, we're going to do a separate video where we break down what my official wish list is, what figures I absolutely want and need from Mattel in my collection, you know. But in this video we're going to be discussing the figures we're going to see, we are going to see these figures. And if we don't, well Brad, I think there's some big problems here. So we're going to see, and I'm saying that we're either going to see these physically there or we're going to see updates of these figures so maybe that's in a gallery that's posted throughout the week maybe that's going to be a render shot during the panel maybe that's going to be something posted by ringside or target or walmart or some dish like that so we'll have to see man but let's dive into it we're going to cover all the elites first and then we'll get into the ultimate edition so let's start off first man with our elites now first of all i think we're going to be seeing the monday night war series 5 with the with the build of figure this is going to be that wave that we covered just the other day with the razor the Lita, the ultimate warrior that entire wave with the build a figure nwo dusty Rhodes. i think we're going to see some sort of monday night wars display and it's going to probably include this entire wave plus the build a figure i'm sure they'll have a display case as they always did last year it was one of the center points of their san diego comic-con entire presentation and portion of their booth so i think here we're going to see series five with the build a figure now i don't know if we'll see series four we might see series four we did see series four back at wrestlemania 40 or hell maybe we even see series six we'll have to see maybe they put out some renders but another set of figures that i know we're going to be seeing is the best of Monday Night Wars line. Now, this is a brand new line that I don't think they've completely announced, or maybe they have announced it, but nobody really covered it or anything like that. I did a full video on it, but I'm saying I don't think it was ever, pro you know, properly announced, if you will, from some company or Mattel or anything like that, but we do have the best of Monday Night Wars figures. If you guys were unaware, they're going to be doing a new best of wave, and in this best of wave, it's going to be Monday Night Wars best of. So this is going to be previously released Mattel WWE Elite figures that were involved in the Monday Night War era, so it'll be some random Stone Cold or some random figure from that era of WWE history or WCW, and they're going to re-release those figures. So we're getting another re-release wave of, I guess you could say, possibly slightly tweaked or straight up re-releases of figures. We know that Triple H, the Best of Attitude Era figure, is going to be included in this line. I'm pretty sure that was talked about, so that will be one of the figures there. So I think we're going to see the first series of that Best of Monday Night Wars figures. There's plenty of figures you could choose from, but I'm hoping that we get some good figures in this line and it's not some crazy crap and we actually get some good solid stuff out of this best of Monday Night Wars figures man so hopefully we'll see that but Monday Night Wars that's what I expect out of elites out of Monday Night Wars we're going to see series 5 possibly series 6 and then we're going to see the best of wave finally seeing who's included in that wave as an entirety next up is going to be the 2025 Royal Rumble build a figure Kali set so this is going to be the great Kali build a figure set we did a whole news video on it. if you want a full breakdown of this wave you can go check that out but I'll put the whole wave up on screen so you can see who's going to be included in there. I think it's Hulk Hogan, the Hurricane, Cody Rhodes. Not the most exciting wave, but we will have to see exactly what it looks like. You know, we'll probably see what they look like, who's going to be in it. I remember last year they had the full wave on display with, with the Build-A-Figure. I think it was Virgil, right? I think they had that full figure wave on display, so maybe we'll actually see these figures on display as well, and we'll actually get to see the Great Khali and see how big he is and all those different things, so we'll have to see, but I fully expect to see the 2025 Royal Rumble set in its entirety, whether it's in render form or actually there or maybe even prototypes on display I think we will see that wave next up we're getting into the main elite line now you guys know as well as I do that they like to announce a lot of waves that are coming down the pipeline now elite 112 we'll probably see it on display we saw some of them on display at Wrestlemania 40 but I guarantee we'll see the full wave on display elite 113 possibly as well and hell maybe even elite 114 elite 113 looks like a decent wave you have Elite Series 114 and Elite Series 115. In Elite 112, we already know about all those figures coming. We know about everything in Elite 113. I think we know a full Elite 114 as well. And then in Elite 115, we know three of the figures, which would be Kyrie Sane. We have an updated R-Truth, and we have The Rock. So I'm, I'm imagining we'll probably see the rest of Elite Series 115. And all these waves are pretty decent, you know. I, I don't recall any of them super standing out. Maybe, you know, you have your Yeet Jey Uso or Main Event Jey Uso in the Yeet gear, which is nice. You have the Elite 114. Dylan Brooks, Jimmy Uso. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on in these waves. We'll have to see what they look like. I'm really intrigued to see what the Tiffany figure looks like because I don't like the way it looks in the render shot. So I'm interested to see exactly how good it looks in person, but we will have to see when that all comes. But Elite 112 through 115 should be announced, and I'm sure we'll even see 16 and 17 possibly as well. So that that is stuff to come. You guys know that they like to announce a lot. They're going to announce a hell of a lot of figures. There's going to be a lot on display. There's going to be a lot of renders posted. There's going to be the panel. There's there's going to be new sets and exclusives from all alikes. Walmart, Target, Ringside, Mattel Creations. 
they're going to fill up the damn shelves, man. But that is our mainline elite figures that I expect to see or that we will see at San Diego Comic-Con. And then another little subline here, we're going to see top picks waves. Now, I know that two of the top picks figures we're going to see for sure, and that is going to be CM Punk and Logan Paul. We saw render shots of these of a WrestleMania 40 weekend, and I guarantee we're going to see our first CM Punk Elite, and it will be this one. We do know that there is another CM Punk coming down the pipeline as well. Now, this is going to be from the live event. I think this is his first matchup back in WWE once he returned to the company, so it's not the Mattel Creations figure. The all-black gear here is a top picks figure. Great for just a perfect base for customs. I know a lot of people are going to be pre-ordering this figure. Guaranteed it's going to sell out on ringside, but it's going to be double jointed, all those different things. We're going to see this figure set on display. We'll probably see this top picks Logan Paul and CM Punk both at San Diego Comic Con. Next up is going to be from the vault series number three. I think we at least get an announcement of this wave. We may not see any on display. We do know that series two was on display at WrestleMania 40, and I can't remember if they announced that there would be two waves of from the vault or three waves a year. I want to say they said it would be two waves a year of from the vault, but I could at least see us getting maybe a render or some sort of announcement of Series 3, so it'll probably be a part of the panel. They'll pull it up and they'll say ringside exclusives and they'll go through probably an Ultimate Edition 2-pack or something like that and then they'll say, you know, from the vault and they'll cover how successful from the vault's been and what they want to see from the future and then Series 3 will be announced there. Maybe even Series 4, who the hell knows, but I expect to at least see Series 3 in render form on the panel or something like that from Mattel. Now, you guys know that a lot of these re-release waves from the vault, best of, top picks, greatest hits, we're going to see all those different things. But from the vault series three, I'm intrigued to see because I'm hoping to see. Oh, I'll just wait for my wish. Uh, wait for my wish list video. I got some stuff that I think we're going to see there. And I'm, I'm excited for my wish list video. So get ready for that. That'll be coming later in the week before we get to Comic-Con. It'll probably be like Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. Probably Tuesday, though. We'll have to see. But the last elites that I expect to see are the two packs. Now, we did see the headbangers at WrestleMania 40, but we also saw the Dudley Boys. But the Dudley Boys were not completed. They were early prototypes. They had grayed out render shots. They were test shots, stuff like that. I think we'd actually get to see these guys in completion. And I think that they will be on display. Maybe they'll have a Mattel Creations entire display that will include everything that's going to be either releasing on Mattel Creations or something that's coming down the pipeline for Mattel Creations. Now, one thing I'll tell you right now is you better gear up. If you have to move money or you have to do something right now, this week there's going to be, like, at the time of recording this video, I'm leaving in, like, 72 hours to go to San Diego for San Diego Comic-Con. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be so much shish going up for pre-order. There's going to be new Ultimates going up. There's going to be new Elites. There's going to be Exclusives. A lot of shish coming this week, man. So if you need to move money or do what you need to do, you probably need to do that now because I'm telling you there is a lot that's going to be up for pre-order and if it's anything wrestling figure related and it's on ringside collectibles use code MD toys on your pre-orders and probably order those separately because if you order everything together it's got to ship together so if you want something that's going to be in stock earlier you need to place a separate order but if you if you want to do it all in one or whatever just make sure you're using code MD toys to save yourselves 10% so you don't just pay out of get that extra 10% off man it's always just worth it to get an extra 10% off especially if you're buying a big bulk order say you're spending two two 300 bucks it's something like that use the 10% off code and you get 20 25 bucks off then you can select the priority shipping method and then it's basically like you're getting fast shipping on your big order for free so that's just something to think about but now we're getting into the ultimate editions that we will see at San Diego Comic Con 2024 and this has to be talked about man the Bray Wyatt pitch black match that the figure that got canceled or it got put on the back burner because of the tragic passing of Bray Wyatt that figure is going to be on display and I can't wait to see this figure it's going to be possibly the ultimate edition of the year it looks incredible. It looked incredible in the renders. They actually announced this figure last year, I'm pretty sure, at San Diego Comic-Con, if I'm not mistaken. I remember seeing this. I remember sitting at the panel. I'm pretty sure they announced this at the panel last year. And it was a big deal, and I'm excited to see this figure. I can't wait to see this figure, man. Hopefully, it'd be really cool if they have, you know, if they set their display up where they'll have the figure under regular lighting, and then maybe they'll have the figure with its interchangeable parts on another side with a black light, and it'll showcase the two different modes that you can put the figure That'll in. That would be a big pop. Hopefully, they'll still, if they're, I'm sure they've set this stuff way in advance, but if they they see this or somebody can tip them off they need to do that for the display but hopefully I, I think we're going to see that figure finally on display and it's going to be epic next up is going to be the Steiner brothers from ringside I think you know they typically do their displays at these shows 
in combo. So they'll have specific designated areas for the displays at San Diego Comic Con or any show like that. So they'll put all the Monday Night War stuff together. They'll put the Ultimates together. They'll put the Legends together. So I think in the Ringside Collectibles exclusive area or maybe in their Ultimate Edition area, we're going to see the Steiner Brothers. The Steiner Brothers will definitely be there at San Diego Comic Con. We'll get to see these guys on display. And I know these figures have to be coming very soon because we've already seen in-house shots or studio shots of these figures. So I'm hoping that we'll actually be able to see these figures on display in person to see what they finally look like, you know, uh, you know, right there in person. So we'll have to see there. Next up is going to be Monday Night Wars Ultimates. Now, we did just the other day get a leak out or an announcement, whatever, of the new Triple H from the late 90s right there. That looks beautiful. I'm very excited for this. And one thing that I forgot to mention in that video is they removed the word damn from his shirt. So I'm definitely going to have to get a custom shirt made that says damn on it because it's supposed to say you're damn right I'm over instead of you're right I'm over. But I expect to see this figure on display as well as the opposite side of this. So you guys know that in these waves, they typically like to do a WWE Ultimate and then a WCW Ultimate. They like to get both sides of the coin there. And so I'm thinking that since they... We already know the WWE side. We don't know the WCW side. Hopefully the WCW side is just as good as the WWE side in these Ultimates. This is going to be Walmart exclusive and it is going to be the Ultimate Edition Triple H. Excited to see this in person and I'm excited to see who is on the other side of this wave. Now forging on forward, man, we are getting into the Target exclusives. Now we did see Dusty Rhodes on display at WrestleMania 40. I fully expect to see this figure in its entirety. Last time we saw this, it was just a prototype and now I think we'll actually see what this figure looks like. Completely printed out what it's going to look like, all those things. We we did see Vader. We got to see some other Ultimate Editions. We saw the Legends Undertaker coming. Just reviewed that on the channel. If you guys missed that, definitely check that review out. But the Dusty Rhodes Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate, I also expect to see. As well as Ultimate Edition Series 23, which is going to be the next wave that we get. So the most recent wave with Jey Uso, Gunther, and John Cena has already shipped out. The next Ultimate Edition wave is going to be Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and LA Knight. All these were on display at WrestleMania, but they all were in the prototype stage. So they all were just test shots, you know, just the different printed out or, you know, sculpted out formulas of the figures with some of their accessories. They didn't have any paint or anything applied to them. So we will see these in their entirety, I guarantee it. And what's interesting about this wave is we know what they're going to look like. We've seen renders of them, but we also got to see what they look like sculpted out. And I think they're going to look pretty damn good on display. But one thing that's also awesome is the Pitch Black Bray Wyatt is a part of Ultimate Edition Series 24. And in that wave, that's the only figure we know, I'm pretty sure. So the other two figures in that wave. You guys know that in each Ultimate Edition wave, the main Ultimate Edition line, there are three figures to every wave. And in Series 24, we only know one of the figures. So I'm guessing that the other two figures in this set are going to be announced along with Bray Wyatt or shown off along with Bray Wyatt. And they'll probably have, you know, Series 23 and 24 and maybe even 25, which we're going to get into. But Series 24 has Bray Wyatt pitch black match in it. I guarantee that we're going to see possibly Finn Balor, but I guarantee Rhea Ripley will be in Series 24. So I'm going to go ahead and just fantasy book that Rhea Ripley's Ultimate Edition will be in Series 24. And to go along with who's in 25 with Damian Priest, I think Finn Balor could possibly be in Series 24 with Rhea Ripley. But we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. Maybe there's not. Maybe there's a Legends talent or something, which would also be amazing, but I'm just talking out the shish there. So I think Rhea Ripley will be a part of Ultimate Edition Series 24 alongside Bray Wyatt and another talent. But Getting into Ultimate Edition Series 25, which is what I just covered, Damian Priest and the Great Muta are a part of Series 25, and we don't know the last figure in Series 25, so that's what makes me think either Finn Balor in Judgment Day gear is coming in Series 24 alongside Bray Wyatt and Rhea Ripley, or Rhea Ripley will be in Series 25 and Finn Balor will be in 24, vice versa. I think that those two characters are going to fill out one of these waves, and I think that could be a thing. So we'll have to see, of course, but... I think that's definitely going to be the case there, and I it was on my wish list last year to have a new Finn, Finn Balor figure, but I'm worried if they do an Ultimate Edition Finn Balor, they're not going to give him the accurate beard. It's going to be all the same head sculpts. It's probably going to be the gr you know the grinning head sculpt, maybe the you know there's just Elite 82 head sculpt and something bummy instead of the faded beard, instead of the accurate hair and stuff. I don't know, man. I'm just afraid of it. We'll have to see what comes of it, but. I'm guessing that that is probably what's going to happen. We'll fill out that and we'll see. But I am going to make my wish list for San Diego Comic Con and that'll be fun, you know. And it's going to be realistic. It's not going to be some crazy shish. I might have one or two wild cards in there, but I'm going to do with... It's going to be a realistic list that they could do and what I would hope to see. And a lot of the stuff that's going to be on there will be... I don't think they released a lot that was on my last year's wish list. Or they did get some of it and we'll touch on that. I'll kind of, you know, react to my last year's wish list. But this year's wish list, I'm hoping that we'll have better luck. And God, I mean, Faded Beard, Finn Balor, and Faded Beard, Roman Reigns, 
those two have been on my list for a decade, it feels like, and we still haven't seen them. So, uh, God in heaven. You know those are going to be on the list. We'll talk about it, but Jesus. But anyways, the last figures that we're going to see at San Diego Comic-Con for the Ultimate Editions is going to be Coliseum Collection Series 6. We do know that Coliseum Collection Series 5 featuring Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We know about those figures. Should be coming relatively soon, I'd imagine, but they look pretty damn good. I, I'm actually really excited for that Coliseum Collection pack, so we'll see. I'm actually intrigued with those. You know, I think they look good. I really like the Ted DiBiase. Could be the best Ted DiBiase they've ever made. And then the Ricky the Dragon. Very unique gear I'm looking forward to as well. So I think Series 5 won't be on display. I don't think they're going to put Series 5 up for display because we've seen them. We saw them announced at that Mattel Creations event and then we saw them pretty much kind of shown off. And then we saw them on display at WrestleMania. So I don't think they would be on display again. But who am I? But I do think we'll see Series 6. So whoever that's going to be, make your fantasy predictions. Whoever you want to see in Series 6. I don't really have a, I don't really have a fight there. You know, you can pick whoever you want. I don't really have a desire of any of them. So I'm just reacting to whoever we have. So hopefully they'll be good, whoever it is. The Coliseum Collection has been very successful in my opinion. And it's not even right up my alley in terms of the guys that I love, you know, just right in the heart and soul. But I really do enjoy those lines of figures and they've been such standouts for me personally. So we'll see what comes of it. Really loved the Roddy Piper. Really loved the first set with Terry Funk and Hulk Hogan. Loved the, loved the Rick Rude figure as well. So hopefully they'll continue that track record. And even Series 5 might be the best series they've done so far. I don't know. Maybe Maybe that'll be a video. Maybe one day we can rank the Coliseum Collection sets. But Series 6 should be pretty good, hopefully. And I think we will see that announced at Comic-Con. But all of those figures, this is... I tried to do my research on what I think we will see in terms of what's been in the news this past six months or what we saw at WrestleMania 40 and Relative and what's been announced and what I can kind of see coming on the horizon and put that here. I don't... I don't think we'll probably see them until Creation C and Punk because it's still so far away. I think it's still like five months away. I guess it's possible we see one, but we only saw a 3D print of the figure back at WrestleMania 40, so I highly doubt we see a prototype of that figure. Maybe. I guess it's possible, but who the hell knows? We'll have to see. But this is my full expectations in terms of what we actually will see. Now, there are things that I think we will see, right? Like an Ultimate Edition CM Punk. I think we'll see that. I think we'll see certain figures. But I want to wait for my wish list video before we get into that. And I think we will see a lot of CM Punk action figures and releases coming and announcements. But I was trying to base this on things that are already announced, so if that makes sense. But... I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this. What do you hope to see? And also, what are you waiting on the most out of this entire list? I'd like to know all those things down in the comment section below. But a huge shout-out to our Patreon members and a huge shout-out to my man Sebastian for signing up as a patron again, man. I appreciate Sebastian over there, man. Thank you so much for the support, brother. But that is going to wrap the video, man. I'd love to know what your thoughts are, man. San Diego Comic-Con week. Big week, man. Big week. Going to be fun. If you're going out there, let me know down in the comment section. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.